SMT Nation, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a deep dive into a tower upgrade that just basically occurred. I take this route essentially, you know, um, four or five days a week going to work uh, and putting in hours at the bakery. And I mean, it, it must have just taken a few days. You know, I didn't even see a crew within the vicinity. Now, AT&T has been super busy in my market, so I'm not surprised. They've got several crews out, you know, throughout the entire city uh, and surrounding suburban area or areas of Cleveland. Now, this particular area, we're in Berea, Ohio. This is, it's just up the street from the Cleveland Browns practice facility. I don't, I forget the name of the street. I think it's like Lou Groza Boulevard or something like that. It's right by the airport. This is give or take about a mile and a half, I think. Maybe upwards of two miles if you're just taking like the the street calculation, but I bet you direct line of uh, direct shot it's probably like a mile and a half. But uh, it's really close to the airport. In fact, it does get picked up at the airport, and for early you know activation of it being turned on, for it to reach that far, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, so I I want to give you guys a description of the area, tell you about the upgrade, and then give you some uh, images here. I I actually have a video that I have to edit. And I'll publish that as well here to YouTube and you guys can check it out. But for now, let's work with these photos here. So these are all small businesses that are in this area. It's not really residential. In fact, the direction in which this is pointing this sector, let me give you guys a better shot here. Let's go to this next image. I think it's zoomed in a little bit. All right. So this is their equipment up here. You've got the antennas and the radios. This smaller antenna radio combo is the N77 C band for AT&T. So this site, I think essentially, I don't think it got anything other than this addition for modification. I don't think they changed much else. I don't know. I can't tell. I don't remember ever like looking at this site specifically for stuff, but it is a mostly commercial area. In fact, the site itself is like, there's like a, I don't know where they store vehicles or something back here. Uh, it's gated. It's, um, you know, it's, it's an actual AT&T tower. I'll show you guys the the gate and kind of what identification is on there, but mostly commercial. So the one sector is facing the airport that's going back this way. This sector is facing towards the business district and the industrial district. And that would mean that the other sector is actually pointing to residential service uh, towards some neighborhoods in Berea. All right, let me give you guys another look here at the site. So this gives you a little bit more detail. You'll see it's a very tall site. It's pretty much over the tree line as well as all the businesses and buildings. Here's a close up view of what you're looking at. It's quite possible that all of this gear here, this larger one, this larger antenna panel, and then this one and this one here, these are probably doing the following bands. You're, you're getting your standard LTE bands, right? So you're getting your band two, your band 12, uh, your band 66, your band 30 is probably on there as well. So all this stuff, you know, that they normally have, now they put in this addition. This is Nokia gear. This is a Nokia market here in Cleveland. And, uh, you know, they got that upgrade. Now, they they have a pretty nice spectrum position here. It's very chopped up, right? They got lots of bits and pieces. But with carrier aggregation, AT&T has done great things in creating capacity. But now you add this 40 megahertz of N77. Uh, that number will double to 80 megahertz for Cleveland towards the end of next year in 2023. and as, as from what I could tell, based on the radio gear that's up here, I could not identify the 3.45 gigahertz frequency radio or modification that would be required to combine their 40 megahertz national from the newest auction, most recent, plus the 40 of the 3.7. So I can't confirm that. So this is a 40 megahertz channel of N77 combined with the LTE. So when we start looking at speeds, that's what you're going to want to kind of take a look at. Here you will see this is not a Crown Castle site. This is not an American Tower site. This is an AT&T Tower. That means they own the, well, it's their it's their tower, right? So they're not leasing it from anybody else. It's theirs. Uh, looking at some other angles here, got a little bit closer to the gate site. You'll see it's just above the tree line. The one thing I want to ask, I haven't seen this. I, I guess I just never noticed it. Maybe you guys have seen it. Uh, and I want to give you guys a nice view here of these sectors. All right. So here's the AT&T site up here. This is an AT&T tower. 
I'm guessing, and I could be totally wrong, and I reach out to you all for this, that must mean that this gear is also AT&T, I suppose. Uh, I don't think this is Verizon, because Verizon has a neighboring cell that's probably about a half a mile away. It wouldn't make sense for that for them to have these two macros so close. The other one is a booming site, too. It's very tall. It's actually taller than this one. It's an older site. It's probably going to get upgraded soon, but it's facing the airport, and it's just east of here. So it's not Verizon, and that does not look like T-Mobile gear at all. I just think it's additional AT&T gear because it ain't Sprint gear, right? Um, so this, to me, tells me that this is their site. They've put multiple antennas and radios on different levels of the site. I'm just guessing it's for different frequencies. Like, to me, for example, I would maybe think that this does a couple of different frequency uh, or different bands here. Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe that's like band 30 and band 29, possibly. The site's really fast. It's really good. And, you know, these, these two probably doing the lower frequencies, maybe. Uh, I don't know. But you guys tell me if you've seen these. Uh, you know, look, giving you that look. It's kind of got this weird um, line groove here at the top. I, I've never noticed these. Maybe it's some new Nokia gear they're using, you know, at AT&T, possibly. Uh, so that's that site. Um, let me actually go over here for you guys to give you a close view of the N77 nokia gear notice it's much smaller than a lot of the legacy tech right here's you know your lower frequencies so you're getting all of your low band and your mid band and these types of antenna panels uh, and then the radios you can see all the different connections there at the bottom um, and there's all your radios here so that's on a different sector but those are the types of things you should be looking for and noticing with this gear and um you know if you guys ever want me to like i, I guess share these photos i can i could put it on youtube on a post uh here's the view of what i was asking about this part here i don't know what it's got to be at&t stuff right like this site is all at&t i'd assume i'm wondering what frequencies this one broadcasts if it's a single one or more i mean it's hard for me to tell i could see the fiber ports here at the bottom uh you can see the the radios for each of these usually it's one radio for the lower frequencies a separate radio for like the mid band and then um you know if you look at say for example the the c band gear it's it's a radio and uh antenna integrated into one unit or whatever all right here's a site from testing the sector very very close uh you'll see that you're not getting the full capacity throughput experience when you're really close to the site 365 down uh, and about 43 up, and you're getting a 42 ping, 18 jitter. So not the most stable of connections, not the best, you know, speed test here. You're looking for 5G plus when you're looking for, you know, the N77 from AT&T. All right, on Verizon, it's 5G ultra wideband, 5G UW, and then for T-Mobile, their capacity 5G layer on 5G UC. So you're looking for those icons. Uh, here's a test from inside the vehicle, or just outside the vehicle, I should say. You'll see how there's some variability there. The ping and the jitter are about the same, but you're getting 625 down and 44 up. Guys, I am super excited about AT&T's 5G Plus, their N77, because these speeds are, while the uplink a little slower than the average Verizon speed test for N77, the downlink is, is pretty impressive. 40 megahertz channel. Meanwhile, Verizon's at 60, right? So imagine what AT&T would be doing here with an additional 20 megahertz to put on the channel, you're probably talking about more like a seven, 800 megabits per second speed test, which creates more capacity. I don't know if it's the gear. This is Nokia. Verizon is using Samsung here. Uh, maybe it's, it's possible it's the backhaul. AT&T is the ILEC here. They run tons of fiber all over the city. That could be it too, possibly. Uh, so it could be a combination of those two things. Here's another test. You'll see very similar results. The ping came down a little bit at 30 milliseconds. The jitter up a little at 21, 627 down and 45 up. Those are from within the vehicle. And here's another one. Uh, as I was driving away, 567 down, you're getting about 46 up, uh, 41 ping, 23 jitter. Uh, this is this is what I'm seeing, guys and gals. AT&T upgrading 5G plus fast. C-band going out in a blistering pace. I'm actually, I think I could start to make the argument, it's very possible that AT&T is moving faster than Verizon at this point in time. I got to call a spade a spade. What Verizon has done is very good. They impress me. 
Uh, right now, AT and T is impressing me if, even more. Uh, it took them a few months to get going, but once they have started the five G plus build, their C band build, it's actually pacing faster than Verizon's. Uh, and I have speculated that possibly by the end of the year, I may actually see AT and T's five G plus more abundantly than the five G ultra wideband of t- of Verizon, and that would be absolutely stunning, a shocker. As a couple of months ago, I would not have been saying this. Uh, but that is how much things have changed just in the last several weeks. Quite impressive. Tell me what you guys think about the testing, about the sites, uh, some of the things I was asking about with that gear. Uh, have you guys been seeing these upgrades? What do you think of the pace in your markets? Uh, I got a video following up on this where I actually tested on site comparing Verizon and T-Mobile. So stay tuned for more coverage. Like, share, and subscribe for more and turn on that bell notifications icon so you don't miss those uploads. Again, thank you for watching. If you want to get more involved with the community, we have a Twitter handle. That's in the description. My Gmail address for all business inquiries. And then also my Patreon page. If you're looking for more access, exclusive content, early access to videos, support us there. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next video. Peace.